uh, solving problems, reducing crime, and improving and increasing safety. Um, so I'm really excited to have been working with you guys, and, and I just want to thank you all for inviting us into your community. Um, it's been an absolute privilege and an honour to work with you all, um, and I'm looking forward to what the next year is going to bring. Um, you're familiar with the five hotspots that we're working on in the project. We have the Center for Evidence-Based Crime Policy at George Mason University. Uh, we really, our mission is to bring science and evidence to um, crime prevention practice, but also to work with communities, to not just keep that science and that knowledge to ourselves, but to give it all over to you and to learn from you guys as well. Um, where are we here? <laughs> So I want to give you, we're not quite finished with the analysis yet, we're going to be doing more of that next year, but I want to give you a little sneak peek of how things are going. Um, hopefully my graph will come up shortly. Let's have a look here. So just to give you a little sense about where we're going next year, oh, to give you a sense about our research partner role as well. Um, we're not just here to come in at the end, tell you how it works, and then leave. We're here to work with you throughout the whole process. Uh, we've brought SPD data to you guys, shared it with you, um, helped you to make sense of it, um, and really supported you in the strategies and the ideas that you came up with uh, for how we're going to solve crime and increase safety in this community. You can see that we're starting to have an effect. These hotspots are getting less hot. Um, the amount of crime that's coming from these five hotspots in Marina Beach is going down. This is especially happening um, at Rainier and Henderson, which hopefully you'll see in a minute. Um, a lot of that is being driven by all the great work that's been going on around this area here um, and all, from all of the teams that you've heard from. So you can see we're really starting to have an effect. Where do we go next? We're going to keep having a look at this, we're going to keep tracking it, making sure that crime is going down. We're going to do another survey in the community, try and um, hear from you guys about how you think things are going. Um, and we're really looking forward to, uh, to hearing from you and we hope we'll, we'll be able to speak to many of you. Um, so we're just really honoured to be a part of this. Um, we're so thankful to the city and to all of you for continuing this in 2016. We're looking forward to uh, being able to report back um, all the way up to the top on how well this is going. Thank you. So good evening. My name is Mike Washburn. I'm the precinct commander for the South Precinct. And I get to work with all of you. Uh, I'm really happy to be back at the South Precinct. I started my career here 29 years ago. And so uh, an insight or an observation I'd like to share with you is how much different things feel. Uh, I've never experienced the community down here so vibrant, uh, so invested, and things are really moving forward. But I also want to share some exciting stuff that I'm seeing with regards to our crime statistics. Citywide, we're down 9% uh, in overall crime. Now for a big city, that is fantastic. When you look at the South Precinct, on the next slide. South Precinct is down 22%. Uh, and I want to point out that the crimes against people uh, category is 13%. Now, that is big, but I want to show you Rainier Beach next. So this is the graph of Rainier Beach. Uh, the bottom line there is 2015. The top line is what crime was uh, last year. So when you look at person crime here, 33%. So more than twice as much as the precinct as a whole. And down 26%. If we look at the numbers that that represents on the next slide, um, this means real people not being victimized. And so at the very bottom, that represents 127 crime victims that we don't have from the same time last year. So 127 people. We look up one of the things that we really focus is way out, but. Our robberies in this area, which was an enormous problem for us for many years, down 56% from the same time last year. Now, the work that our officers do, we take part of that credit, but the big credit comes from teaching citizenship. So uh, the Safe Passage team, you know, they don't give themselves enough credit. They're more than guardians. They're mentors. I mean, look at the work that they do. They're engaging. Uh, 
putting our arms around young people and telling them, don't do what I did. I made some mistakes along the way uh, and moving forward. Uh, the next slide, uh, that's me in that hat and with my back to the camera there. Uh, but we've got officers off to the side uh, and we were working uh, on uh, the King Donuts and getting it ready for even more work. Uh, as you know, it's all painted. Uh, but the side of that building was a disaster, uh, so we uh, worked together with the community. This was shortly after I arrived at the precinct. One of my big drives is to move our officers into Brainerd Beach more and more uh, and the rest of the South Precinct and engage our community in a non-enforcement way. So we don't want to just be people who work here, we want to be seen as part of the community not just a service of it. Uh, so again, looking at uh, building that community trust and a little sweat equity in the neighborhoods that we're serving, uh, those are the things that are important to me. Frankly, throughout my 29 year career with the department, I look at my greatest satisfaction in the relationships I've built uh, by working in the communities that um, I've been able to serve. Uh, we're with the Rainier Beach Merchants, Went to a great event last night. Thank you, Maya, for inviting us. Uh, Detective Cookie over here, who's <laughs> safe. You know, I'll share a little bit about, I really did not appreciate what she did earlier in my career, uh, but now I see so how vitally important that is. Uh, I do, I support her so much in the work that she does. She is an ambassador. Uh, she does that mentoring role, uh, and uh, again, it kind of goes against what some of uh, law enforcement back in the old days felt that law enforcement was all about putting bad guys in jail. Well, honestly, it, the arrest piece uh, kind of sign signals a, a failure somewhere along the way. There are bad people that need to go to jail. That's part of what we do. But uh, talking people out of an arrest that behavior modification, that's what it's really all about. Who's next? 